Looking at Titanobo, we just feel very happy that this monster is not around anymore. We feel safe in the 21st century. But is it true that this snake is not around anymore? Is it possible that it is still somewhere out there? That's what we'll try to figure out in today's video. We'll talk about some of the things that scientists have been talking about and we'll also show you some real shocking photos and videos that can undermine the general version about the existence of the prehistoric snake. It's probably true that people generally don't like snakes very much, especially those that are big and venomous. Reticulated python is the biggest snake on the planet today, so they say. Some of those can grow up to 7.5 meters and weigh about 150 kilos. That's quite a size, isn't it? Well, not if you compare it to Titanoboa, because Titanoboa is the biggest snake in all the history of our planet. Just imagine a body length of 13 meters with a weight of over one ton. It's quite interesting that Titanoboa was only discovered recently, in 2009, in a coal mine near Serajon in Spain. A group of biologists along with a party of paleontologists succeeded in finding a few interesting samples of bones of some unknown species of fish and turtles. What they also managed to find was a fossilized skeleton of a snake of gigantic proportions. When they had a closer look, they realized they made one heck of a discovery. They figured it belonged to a Boyd's family of snakes, the one that includes modern-day anacondas and boas. Talking about its color, it was actually a good thing that Titanoboa was kinda dark and hard to notice, unlike most of the modern bright-colored venomous snakes. And even though Titanoboa were massive, they were actually masters of camouflage and were very hard to notice. So if you'd somehow ended up in South America in the Paleocene era, then this snake would attack you before you could even say, oh my god, it's a giant snake. It took planet Earth thousands of years to recover after the dinosaurs died out. Titanoboa was one of very few giant reptiles who inhabited our planet in the late Cretaceous period. You might be wondering why so many people talk about Titanoboa so much, while there were lots of dinosaurs out there who were much bigger and scarier. Thing is, unlike Titanoboa, dinosaurs lived long before humans and there's a good reason why people used to dread this giant snake. Just try to imagine meeting it out in the wilds with no stuff around to protect you. Not a very happy encounter, isn't it? And what's very interesting is the fact that not so long ago, people started posting stuff that indicates the existence of Titanobo in this day and age. Alright, and so with that being said, we can get to some proof of a possible existence of the giant snake in the modern world. Stay with us and you'll see some real giant snakes from Borneo in Africa, who might very well be descended of the famous Titanobo. Don't go away. Titanobo from Borneo. There's a legend that emerged from the land of Borneo. It's about a 30 meter snake they call Nabao. So they say it's got seven nostrils and a head of a dragon. Locals believe that this snake is a precursor of the end of the world. But if you feel like it's just something to laugh about, check out this photo. The first thing that might pop into your head is that it's just a Photoshop trick. But there is some hard evidence that this photograph is a genuine and it was taken by a rescue team member right off the chopper. A couple of other people saw it happen. Also, some think it's a part of a pipeline, but they say that pipes don't ever look anything like it. There's a lot of controversy, but it's still possible that the snake is actually real. Titanobo from Maine on Saturday of the 20th of August in 2016, at about 3 p.m., a giant shed skin of a snake was found in Cumberland. It was 3.6 meters long. Local police got interested in the finding, so they took a photo of it. Generally, there are many kinds of snakes out in America, and some of those are really massive. So it seems a bit odd that there's so much hustle around this particular piece of skin. But turns out, there were many reports from people who saw some very unusually big snake they call Wessie. Now, there's no proof that a skin belongs to Wessie, but if that's true, there might be a giant anaconda crawling somewhere around that area. Whatever the case is, Westbrook police took the snake skin for further investigation. They want to learn as much about the snake as they possibly can to prevent any potential threat. According to some unclarified data, this piece of skin ended up at the biology department of the University of Texas. The man who studied it came up with some very shocking news. He claims that the skin belongs to no other than Titanoboa itself. 
Cryptozoologist Bill Brook thinks different though, he's very suspicious about the finding. He believes that his skin was left there by someone on purpose, even though he also thinks that Wessie is real and that it crawls around somewhere. It's just that it's very unlikely that the piece of skin belongs to a real live Titanoboa, that's all. Titanoboa from Russia in 2014, Titanobo appeared in the city of Samara in Russia. Somebody spotted a snake on the wall of a building and apparently it was the size of those monsters you see in scary movies. The guy who took the video thought it well may be the legendary Titanobo, so he brought the footage to a few news companies. They got interested and soon the video got viral and gathered a lot of views. The dude who shot this video also saw some other crazy things. He once saw a giant stick insect one time and he found some really massive spiders that occupied an entire bridge in the middle of the city. A lot of people were skeptical about those findings so they checked up on that guy and it turned out that his name is Mitri and he's a 3D designer. Titanobo from Africa Another surprising observation belongs to a Belgian pilot, Remy van Leerde. It happened in the middle of the last century. In 1959, the man was a colonel in the Belgian army. He served at Kamenai Air Base in the Democratic Republic of Congo. When he was coming back from a mission in the Katanga area by helicopter, he reported seeing a huge snake as he flew over the forest. He described the snake as a 15 meter long creature with a triangular head which was about 60 centimeters wide and 90 centimeters long. And he was very accurate in his calculations. That snake was one of the largest snakes in existence. According to the man's description, the upper parts of the snake were dark greenish brown and the belly was sort of white. When he saw the reptile, he asked the pilot to turn around so they could have a look at it again. At that point, the snake raised its frontal part by 3 meters like it was getting ready to attack, showing its bright belly. It is for this reason the creature was never properly captured on film. Most likely, that snake was the African rock python. Titanobo in the park This video of a snake swimming under the bridge in the park caused a lot of controversy. It is especially strange that very few people noticed it. Could this be because the video is actually fake? Could be, but the fact of the matter is that a very big snake was found in Big Cypress National Park in US, and according to the report, it was a female snake that laid as much as 73 eggs. Rumors that it's Titanoboa spread across the internet very fast, but then some other information appeared that said it wasn't a prehistoric monster at all. According to some reports, the snake found in Big Cypress Park was really a female that laid 73 eggs. It's just that it was a 5 meter python, the largest one in the reserve. Terror of the Amazon Natives who live near the Amazon River say that there are some truly huge snakes out there. The kind that makes the legendary anaconda look ridiculously small. Indigenous Peruvian Amazon cultures call these monsters Yakumama and Black Bow. According to them, these giants reach over 50 meters in length, and their heads are something about 180 centimeters wide. A huge snake like that can knock its victim down. They can bend trees and even slightly change river currents if they're in the water. American explorer and Yakumama hunter Mike Warner believes that this monstrous snake is, in fact, Titanoboa. He spoke to hundreds of locals who encountered the snake. Mike said that people who live on the shores of the Amazon describe this huge snake as one that makes water follow it. It's also interesting that according to Mike, most of the witnesses who saw Yakumama didn't spend much time studying it. They were too damn scared for their lives. So there isn't much recorded data about this particular monster. So is it possible that Titanoboa will ever come back? I think a lot of people would be interested to know if the existence of Titanobo is possible in this day and age from a scientific point of view. Since snakes are cold-blooded animals, it seems logical to assume that the habitat of this creature should be somewhat warmer than it was assumed before, something like an average annual temperature of about 30 to 34 degrees Celsius. It was actually the warm climate of the Earth tens of millions of years ago that allowed Titanoboa to reach such great size. So if global warming continues, the return of the great reptile is quite possible. 
And that's bad news, by the way. But the good news is that this will not happen in the near future, since it takes a long time, like millions of years, for a new species of animals to appear. All right, that's all for now. Press the like button if you like the video. Subscribe and smash the bell to stay notified of new stuff. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.